In the presidential race, there are five Republican primaries today in the Northeast, where Mitt Romney has no serious competition. On Monday, Romney campaigned in Pennsylvania, one of those primary states, along with Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Rubio is believed to be high on the list of potential running mates for Romney. With us now, political director John Dickerson. John, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. I'm looking at the Wall Street Journal today, and the question they have on the front page is the number one contender to be Romney's number two. Is Marco Rubio number one? Well, he certainly is among a lot of Republicans who love Marco Rubio. They love his story, a uh, son of Cuban immigrants. He's a Tea Party favorite. Uh, but, you know, this pageant has a long way to go. And right now, the two, Romney and Rubio, sort of benefit from from this buddy movie. On the one hand, Rubio gets to elevate his national profile. And Romney, even if he never picks Rubio in the end, benefits from being seen with him. Uh, Rubio's Cuban uh, heritage might help Hispanic voters be open to him. If nothing else, though, it helps him in Florida, that crucial battleground state. Do we have any, I from. Do we have any idea as to Romney's thinking, as to what kind of person, what kind of profile would fit him? Well, not much. I mean, we know from his history that he is a cautious person, that he, in picking management uh, teams before, you know, he likes people with experience who've been leaders before. Uh, and he has said that he wants somebody who can step into the job uh, right away. The political calculus we don't know about, and that may be uh, quite important in the end. You talk about being able to step into that job right away. Uh, former Vice President Dick Cheney actually weighing in on that. Let's take a quick listen. It gives the public a chance to watch you operate and see what you think is important, what kind of uh, individual you choose to serve as, as your running mate, what are the criteria. And I think the single most important criteria has to be uh, the capacity to, to be president. That's why you pick him. Dick Cheney speaking yesterday. So, John, is the thinking that Marco Rubio does have the experience to, heaven forbid anything should happen, step in to the number one spot? I think a fair reading of his uh, career would suggest he does. And what's really amazing, I mean, remember, Dick Cheney was an out-of-nowhere pick for George uh, W. Bush. He picked him because he said he had the kind of experience necessary to step into that job. Marco Rubio has no real executive experience. And that was one of the big knocks against candidate Obama and one of the reasons Republicans say the president has been a failure, because he lacked that executive experience. And that's a hurdle mm -hmm. that Marco Rubio just can't clear right now. Yeah, but Jeb Bush is promoting him as well when he declined to be on the list himself. Will Rubio help Romney with Hispanics? Well, this is the big question. Romney in the polls right now, and some of them he's more than 40 points behind the president with Hispanic voters. He might certainly help Romney in Florida, and that's obviously a crucial state. Uh, but the question is, does it translate to other Hispanic voters? Rubio is Cuban. Does that uh, play outside of Florida? And that is the big question. Romney doesn't need to beat the president you know, among Hispanic voters. He just needs to improve, shrink that gap of 40 points. And that's the thing to watch in, in states like New Mexico and Colorado, whether the Rubio effect will help Romney at all with those kind of voters. John Dickerson, thank you. Thanks, Charlie.